All right, Kelly J. Patriot here at AmFest 2023 in Phoenix. Liberty Report Live coming to you with an unbelievable, unbelievable Patriot in terms of what she's been through, but she's tough, she's a fighter, and we're so happy to have with us today Trevian Cutie. How you doing, Trevian? I'm amazing, and thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. And she sure is. Of all the Patriots here, she's like in the top five. She's on one hand with me, man. She's unbelievable in terms of fighting the fight, what she's done, being attacked. They try to knock her down and censor her, but she is still standing and, and, and being strong. So uh, can you give us a little background in terms of what happened and how did you get into this lawsuit with Donald Trump down in Georgia? So I am one of the 18 co-defendants in the Fulton County Rico uh, in Georgia with uh, Fannie Willis um, that has gone out of her way to prosecute, I will speak at least for myself, innocent people. Um, I uh, was called, there was a woman who uh, was an election official who um, needed help and I was called to try and you know offer her help and I interviewed her in a Cobb County police station in the middle of the night on a body cam and from that one action alone there has been charges brought against me and I am now currently indicted in Fulton County. Unbelievable. Well, we were at the James O'Keefe after party last night and you had on a sweatshirt. We got a picture of that. I'll hopefully be able to put it into the, uh, into the video here. And what does that picture depict? So that's my mugshot. Um, and I knew that picture would be an integral part of history. I practiced that photo, uh, that picture for about two hours, like prior to going into Fulton County and, and turning myself in. But um, the shirt said not guilty. I actually have my own merch line that you can pick up at treviancutie.com. There's a free Trevian, there's a not guilty, and there's an A God um, hoodie. So I am also using those to, to raise funds for legal fees. That's awesome. And that's spelled T-R-E-V-I-A-N-K-U-T-T-I, Trevian Cutie. Support her. And it's just unbelievable because I remember, obviously, seeing Donald Trump's mugshot in Georgia. That blew up. But of all the others, I told you last night, I remember seeing you. Well, I wanted the world to remember and I want the world to always remember that I was in this fight and I'm in this fight to win it. So um, I, I, I wanted to make sure that I was blazing in, in history. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. You, your, your hair's kind of just, you know, it's kind of back and a little different from today, but it just, you really stood out uh, in that picture. So God bless you and, and everything you had to, you know, deal with there. But we want to find out a little bit, and we talked last night, about these charges. Now you live in, <clears throat> excuse me, you live in Chicago and you're being charged down in Georgia because you were down there just having a conversation. But how did this, you know, we kind of know the foundation, but but what, what then transpired from that point in time in terms of these charges against you? Um, so we're both baffled by that question. And, um, you know, due to the fact that I am out on bond, I am kind restricted um, from saying too much about the facts of the case but I am dumbfounded at how I can be indicted in a situation where I was acting as a private citizen with another private citizen and here I am in a, you know in an indictment in Fulton County in a non-public setting and and for what you did it, to me you know I did civil litigation for a long time in California but that doesn't appear actionable in terms of what you did and, and what kind of charges did that turn into just a mere conversation off the record with an individual well you know I'll say this I look forward to my day in court even today I'm probably um, trending because I had a lawyer withdraw um, in Georgia my Georgia attorney withdrew um, you know and his statement was you know a client has to be on board and she has to listen well I'm a fighter and sometimes you know not all warriors work together and things don't work out but I will tell you one thing I've got a, a stellar plan and I am waiting for uh, the day where I hear Am I not guilty? And um, I in the political aspirations of Fannie Willis. No, absolutely. And uh, we talked a little bit last night about the charges. What are the actual charges? You know, I, false writings, and I intimidated a witness. So that would be the, the gist of what I'm being indicted for. And also, I think you mentioned there's a civil RICO charge. Is that against you also? So the civil RICO charge, I'm not for sure about. I'm just in the, the main RICO case where you had, you know, your defendants like Jenna Ellis, you know, plead guilty and Sydney 
and you know Kenneth, you know, so forth. But in a world of Jenna's and you know Sydney's, be a Trevian cutie, be a fighter, Absolutely. be loyal. You know, be loyal to the country. You know, it's okay to be on the front lines. I just know that I would like to have the support of this country as I fight for this country. Absolutely, and Liberty Port will get the message out and certainly get you all the support we can. And what about uh, is Rudy Giuliani charging that case too? He is. He is one of the eighteen. Wow, wow. Well, he's kind of Mr. Civil Rico in terms of prosecuting those cases in New York. So I'm sure they're going to get a little uh, blowback and boomerang on this one. So uh, tell us again how people can support you, your cause. And you mentioned your attorney withdrawing. I've seen that happen on a couple occasions. And also some of the attorneys in January 6th, they were getting rid of the attorneys because it didn't appear that the attorneys were really going to bat for their clients. Well, you know, it's interesting because in the RICO, um, you'll see m stories on me more than you'll see stories on any of the other defendants. My case is sexy. There's a body cam. There's a video. People have to understand this is not just a court game. This is also a media game. I'm a publicist. You know, I've worked with some of the biggest names in the industry. Kanye West, Regina King, R. Kelly, Chris Brown. So I know the game. Uh, as far as the media is concerned. And you have to be stellar in the media. And sometimes people don't like, you know, how it is I say what I say, but what people, uh, they cannot say is she's not telling the truth and what she's doing is not right. So I'm here for the fight and um, I need your support. I do have a Gibson Go. Um, it's Defeat Fanny Willis. If you go to Gibson Go, you'll find it under Defeat Fanny Willis and you can buy my hoodies at treviancutie.com. That's awesome. I'll tell you what, we all, and I've been saying for years, seek the truth and keep the faith because it's like opposite day and Groundhog Day in terms of what's going on here. And we, we talked to a Canadian trucker and he's under charges up in Canada for simply trying to take his truck across the country and just, uh, you know, basically trying to freely move around. And there's just so much cancellation going on nowadays. Uh, what do you have to say about our society as a whole right now in terms of what they're trying to do to, to repress people like you and others that simply are trying to, to, to seek that truth and, and get to the, the, the what's re really going on? The fight never stops. Um, I think what has to happen is I think the public sees what is happening to people like me and others. I think the public needs to get off their behind and be actionable. You know, everybody sits on their computer and they'll get Twitter fingers and they'll complain. This is a war that we must win and we cannot do it when we do not have the support, when people sit on their behinds and they do not get up and they take one action, do one thing. James O'Keefe says it, I think best, do something. And so I'm here. I want everybody to know that I'm happy to be here. You have one of the best lawyers on the front line that you could possibly have. And support me. And I guarantee you, I will make you proud. Absolutely. I believe in you just from what I've seen the last couple of days here at AmFest. There's a lot of patriots here, folks that love our country, want to get us, get us back with the good Lord. That's kind of our theme and message, too. And uh, we need more fighters. We need, as she mentions, we need people to step up, open your eyes, open your ears, stand up, step up, and be strong. Be a lion right now, especially now. We need to stand up and be strong. Now is not a time to be weak, and we need to spread the message. If we don't stand up now and have our freedoms and liberty, we're not going to have it going forward. So I encourage everybody on behalf of Kelly G. Patriot, Liberty Report, and, and yourself. And uh, do you have a final message uh, for Fannie Willis? You don't have any type of censorship on, on what you can say or what you can do or who can, who can attack kind of like President Trump does. So you still have freedom of speech, is that correct? I do have freedom of speech. Well, with that in mind, do you have a message for Fannie Willis? Fannie understands that I am her biggest nightmare and I know she cannot sleep well at night knowing that I am on the horizon and I will defeat Fannie Willis. Absolutely. Well, I have complete faith in you and don't trust don't trust the government, trust God. And I'm going to put my faith in you too. And I'm going to try to see what we can do to get you support because it's patriots like you that need support because if we don't stand up now, it's over. So if not me, who? And if not now, when? God bless you. God bless America. This is Kelly J. Patriot on behalf of Liberty Report Live from Amfest in Phoenix. Until next time, and keep fighting the fight. Keep fighting the fight. God bless you. And, and also, in closing and in parting, don't forget about Liberty Report. Go out and buy. Go to MyPillow.com. Support Mike Lindell, an American patriot and icon. We just saw him today, saw him yesterday, and spoke with him. Uh, and go ahead and go to... Go to MyPillow.com and be sure to you, you she's saying it, I'm saying it, it's just, I'm a little slow because we got a lot going on here, but go to MyPillow.com 
and order any of those great products and use promo code for Liberty Report, which is God wins. God wins. What do you think about that? Amen. That's how it's all going to end out. And as I mentioned, God wins. God wins. And what do you think about our promo code? It is God wins, the best promo code ever, okay? It's all the savings, the biggest savings ever for the best promo code ever. Thank you, Mike. God wins. God bless America. God bless my pill, and God bless you, Mike. Keep fighting the fight. Mike, what is your favorite product? Well, I know that's probably hard. Well, of course, it's my pillow. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have those, the slippers, the towels, uh, all everything. Our products, of all our products, I guess my favorite is probably the Giza Dream Sheets. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're, 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 that's my favorite, but the one that's the most necessity is the my pillow. Yeah, if absolutely. You, if you don't have a my pillow, we've sold over 81 million my pillows. Wow. You know, you know, wow. So that's incredible. That's awesome. But the, uh, and now we have the my pillow 2.0, which is temperature regulated too. So that, nice. Uh, nice. And you can say. 50% off that with what? Promo code God wins. God wins. <laughs> we, we know how this story ends. I will defeat Fannie Willis.